Who is that? Thank you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I shouldn't be this upset. Oh, tell me what's going on. When Eric called last night, when you were there, he told me that he was coming home the day after tomorrow. Well, that's great news. Yeah. I was really happy, and I even came here to talk to Roman about throwing him a party. Okay, so why are you so upset? Because, because I just got another call from him, and he said that the mission begged him to stay three more months. And he said, okay. Sorry. I know that I shouldn't be upset with him. He's a, he's a good man. It's just that I really need him right now. Well, what do you know? Yeah. Read him and weep, Daddy. You see that there? They ran the test twice. So there's no denying that I am yours anymore. I... It never occurred to me that... That you could be wrong and I could be right. You turned your back on me when I was eight years old. Eight! I know you hate my guts. But the truth of it is... You made me who I am today. Are you proud of yourself? Why didn't you tell us you were coming? It was just a spur of the moment decision after reading an article in The Intruder. Oh, I wish you would cancel your subscription to that rag. And if I had done that, how would I have found out that Chad was having an affair with your nanny? It wasn't an affair and it didn't happen the way the article said it did. Gwen definitely twisted the truth. But what did happen was bad enough. Are you still separated? Oh, darling. I'm so sorry. It's been a pretty awful time, thanks to Gwen. What else happened? Well, for starters, she's part of the reason why Jack and I stayed separated for so long. Does this young woman have something against you and Jack? Oh, it's the same thing that she has against Chad and me and the entire family. She claims that Dad is her biological father. Well, we're about to find out if it's true. Jack agreed to a paternity test. He's gone to the hospital to get the test results. Gwen claims that Jack has always known about her, but refused to have anything to do with her. She says that he had his secretary pay off her mother on the condition that she and her mother stay away from him. Jack never